hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to make this very cute reversible octopus i'm so obsessed with it so it has two sides so we have the white side and also we have the other side which you can flip around like that okay and then you have the yellow side okay so this one has the angry face and the other one has the happy face like that so it's perfect for showing feelings especially for children or for anyone so this is how it looks like so you're going to need two colors of yarn so any color that you want and uh, I used a crochet hook which is 2.5 uh, millimeters and also I use this kind of yarn it's a little bit chunky so it's firm enough that's why I didn't need to stuff uh, my doll but you can use any kind of yarn that you want so let's get started okay so we're going to start first with the magic ring and then six single crochets into the magic ring so we're going to do one two three four five and six Okay, and then I'm going to pull the end to close the gap. Okay, so now in the second row, we are going to increase each and every stitch uh, for a total of 12 stitches. So we're going to increase every stitch all the way round. Okay, so I'm going to go into the next stitch and increase. So increase means you do two single crochets in the same stitch. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to go into the next stitch also and do an increase. Okay, so same case, increase. Okay, so continue increasing all the way until here at the end. Okay, so after that, now in our third row, uh, we're going to do single crochet one, then increase. And then single crochet increase and repeat the same pattern all the way around so we're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch and then we're going to keep repeating that so single crochet and increase okay so you're going to keep repeating that all the way around for a total of 18 stitches Okay, so now after you're done with that, now in the fourth row, we're going to do two single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way around. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet one, single crochet two, then increase in the next stitch. And then repeat that, single crochet one, single crochet two, and increase in the next stitch. Okay, so we're going to keep repeating that all the way to the end for a total of 24 stitches. Okay, so now in our fifth round, uh, we're going to do three single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 30 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, one, two, three, and then increase in the next stitch. And then we are going to keep repeating that. So three single crochet. And increase in the next stitch. Okay, so you're going to keep repeating that all the way until here at the end. Okay, so after we're done with that, now in the sixth round, we are going to do four single crochets then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 36 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, one, two, three, four, and increase. Okay, 
okay and repeat that so four single crochets and increase okay so we're going to keep repeating that all the way to the end okay so now after we're done with that in our seventh round uh, we're going to do five single crochets then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 42 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five and increase and then we're going to keep repeating that so five single crochet one two three four five and increase okay so we're going to keep repeating that all the way around until the end okay so now after that in our eighth round we are going to do six single crochet then increase and repeat all around for a total of uh, 48 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six and increase in the next stitch and then you're going to keep repeating that so six single crochet one two three four five six and increase okay so keep repeating that all the way to the end okay so now after you're done with that for the next nine rounds which is from round uh, nine until round 16 we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row uh, for a total of 48 stitches in each row okay so i'll see you when you're done with the next nine rounds until round 16 and then we'll start the 17th row together okay guys so after you're done with the 16th row this is how it should look like as you can see so now in our 17th row uh, we're going to start decreasing so we're going to do six single crochet then decrease and repeat all around for a total of 42 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six and then decrease in the next stitch so you're going to go into the front loop of the next stitch pull through and the back loop of the next stitch pull through and then pull through all the three loops together okay so that's one decrease okay and then we're going to repeat that again so six single crochet so one two three four five six and decrease okay so you're going to keep repeating that all the way to the end okay so after you're done with that now in our 18th row which is the last row of the body then you start making the tenor course so we're going to do 19 single crochet then decrease and another 19 single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one two three four okay so repeat until you have 19 single crochets okay so after the 19 single crochets we are going to decrease one time 
okay so and then for the remaining 19 stitches you're going to repeat single crochets until the end okay so you're going to continue and do single crochet single crochet okay so repeat single crochet all the way to the end okay so after you're done to the end this is how it looks like so now we're going to begin making the tentacles okay all the legs and in total we're going to make a total of eight legs so first we're going to start by doing five single crochets so we're going to do a single crochet one two three four and five okay and then after we do that we are going to do a chain one and turn okay so after you turn you're going to do again five single crochets so single crochet one two three four five okay so that's for the second row and then again for the third row we are going to repeat the same thing so chain one turn and do single crochet until the end Okay, and then we are going to repeat that for two more rows. So that is row four and row five. So chain one, turn, do single crochet. Okay, and then one more time, chain one, turn. Okay, so now after that, in our sixth row, uh, we're going to do a chain one, and then we're going to turn and then we are going to decrease all the way so we're going to do a decrease and then do another decrease and then you have one chain left so you're going to do a, a single crochet in the last stitch so it's a little bit tight Okay, so single crochet okay and then the last one uh, the next round which is the last round we're going to do a chain one then turn and then decrease again so decrease and, and then a single crochet in the last stitch okay so that is our first tentacle so for the next one we are going to slip stitch going back until here Okay, so you're going to go into the next stitch and slip stitch, slip stitch, okay, next one also, so you're going to slip stitch all the way to the back. Okay, so you're going to slip stitch until we get where we started, like that. Okay, so now we are going to make our second tentacle and you're going to do it the same way. So five single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five. And then chain one and turn. So you repeat this until the fifth row. So single crochet ok 
head, chain one, turn the third row. Okay, so repeat the same fourth row. Okay, and fifth row. Repeat the same. Okay, so after you're done with that, now we're going to do a chain one. And so we have two more rows remaining. And this one we're going to decrease all through. Okay, decrease. And single crochet. Okay, chain one, turn and decrease again. and single crochet in the last one okay and then to go to the other side we are going to slip stitch Okay, so you're going to continue like that, uh, same way we did these ones, all the way around until you get here to the end. And you have a total of uh, eight uh, legs or eight tentacles. So as you can see, so it's going to look something like this. So this is the one that I did on the other one. And then, so you're going to have two of these. So you're going to finish making this. All the way until the end and then make another one like this one and then we are going to join the two together okay so I'll see when you're done making the two parts so that I, I show you how to join the parts together and how to make the eyes okay so guys as you can see I've already finished uh, making the tentacles this is how they should look like okay so and then after that I made the little eyes so the eyes are quite simple so they consist of three parts. We have the outside part, the white, and then the other part, the second part, and the last part. So I'm just going to explain how to do that. And it's quite easy. So it's the same pattern uh, like the one we did on top here. So but you just do for one, two, three, four, you do four rows. So this is what is gonna be the outside part. And then uh, the second part, you do just uh, three rows of the same pattern. And then uh, this one, the smaller one, uh, you do the magic ring and four single crochets into the magic ring. So this is what it's gonna make the uh, inside part. And then you attach them all together. Okay, and then for the little smile here, I did a chain 10 and then I attached it over here. So we have the smiley face and uh, the one that frowning all the sad side okay so after you finish making the two of them what we're gonna do is uh, you're gonna attach them together like this okay so after we finish I'm just going to take my yarn and I don't want to put filling inside there because my yarn is quite thick as you can see but if you use the thin yarn, you can just stuff it a little bit and then you attach the parts together. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So I'm just going to take my yarn and do some stitches all the way around like that. And then um, see how it's going to look. 
Okay, so guys, as you can see, I finished uh, sewing the parts together. So this is how I decided to sew it. I used the white uh, white yarn to sew it all the way around. Okay, so this is how it looks like. So you can put this one inside like that. Okay, and then you have the outside part. Or you can put the other side inside like that. Okay, and then you have the outside part. Okay, so guys, how cute is this? I'm so obsessed with this. I'm so glad and happy with the way it turned out. So I hope uh, the pattern was clear enough. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comments below and you can also watch my other videos. I upload two videos every week and until next time, bye.